Hi guys, today we're here to talk about one of my favorite topics and that is skincare for oily skin. More specifically, my favorite moisturizers for oily skin and I've done this video probably four or five times now so I mean I've got a lot of favorites. But basically these are the best new moisturizers that I've tried that I think are great for oily skin. Some have SPF, some are just moisturizers. They can be used day or night depending on your preference. But I've also done this for moisture or sorry toners for oily skin, serums for oily skin, uh, oils for oily skin. I've also done um, more makeup based things as well. So powders, foundations, setting sprays. So that will all be linked down below. And as I always say in these videos, it can be really, really daunting when you have uh, oily skin to kind of figure out how to balance it. But a great place to start is moisturizing because if you're stripping your skin, as you've heard me say, time and time again, your skin will actually overproduce. So you know, it will overproduce oil. So it's a matter of finding a moisturizer that feels nice and light on your skin, that hydrates your skin and helps to balance it. So there's lots of great options here depending on what you're looking for in terms of texture. Are you looking for something fragrance-free, cruelty-free, drugstore, high-end? Uh, so I'm going to present lots of options to you so you're able to pick out one that works for you because I've said this before, but I won't, I don't want to come on here and just say this is the best moisturizer for oily skin because I think that these are all great and you're all going to have different budgets and different preferences. So hopefully this will help you pick out one that's going to work for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we actually get into it, I meant to say I did film this look. It is a full face of NYX makeup, so I will link to that down below. I also have everything that I'm wearing on my face listed down below. But the first moisturizer that I want to mention is one that I've actually spoken about before, but it's a little bit of a different version. So it is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost by the hair. Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. This is the one for extra dry skin. And you might be like, Samantha, you just said this is for oily skin. But I will say this, this is actually a very light texture. It's not necessarily a full on gel, but I still consider it absolutely a gel cream and, and so does Neutrogena. But the reason that I mentioned this one specifically is because it's fragrance free. I know a lot of you either liked the Hydro Boost line or wanted to try it, but you had sensitivities to fragrance. So the extra dry skin version of the Hydro Boost, there's a few different versions, is completely fragrance free. It is also oil free, so it is not gonna be too heavy on your skin. And there's hyaluronic acid in here, which is a great way to hydrate oily skin. If you're using any products that have hyaluronic acid in there, it's always best to have your skin a little bit damp when you're putting the product on your face because hyaluronic acid actually can hold a thousand times its weight in water, which is pretty cool. So it's always nice if it has something uh, to hold on to. And if you're just starting out with skincare, moisturizer is the best place to start. Then you can start adding in serums, toners, etc. But for me anyways, in my, my opinion, I think moisturizer is the best place to start. And this is a great drugstore one. Another great, really lightweight moisturizer is from Dr. Jart. This is their Water Drop Hy Hydrating Moisturizer. Also has hyaluronic acid in here. Uh, it says it is an instant burst of hydration for dry skin, which I will absolutely say. They do say that this is good for all skin types, uh, brightens dull lackluster skin, long lasting moisturization. You're also getting a hundred milliliters in here, which is a lot of product. So although it's a higher end brand, you're getting a ton of product in here. And if you ever have your eye on any high end skincare, um, the Sephora VIB sale is a great time to get it. So it comes out kind of looking like a cream or gel cream, but when you rub this in, it is the most delightful, like try it. If you're at Sephora, it just kind of, feels like water or just slightly thicker than water. It feels so light and almost cooling on the skin. Like even just rubbing it on my arm there feels so, so good. Uh, and it absorbs into the skin quite quickly, making a really, really nice base for makeup. It's, it, there's something almost a little bit smoothing about it uh, without it being like super silicone or anything like that. But yeah, this really was one of the first products I tried from Dr. Jart and the name Water Drop is so suiting for this product. It is really, really like a drop of water on the face, it spreads really nicely and you only need a tiny bit. This next product is so incredibly interesting and delightful and good. Like it's, it really, really pleased me. They talked this product up a lot. They said it took them 19 years to create and I was like, it better be good but it's truly amazing. It is the Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. It says it's for normal to dry skin, but again, I think this is great for oily skin. And they say it's a toner and a moisturizer. If you have oily skin, like I messaged them and asked them what the best way, I'm actually, they didn't message me, they messaged me back and said they get back to me. They haven't yet. I'm gonna message them again just to check in with them. But I wanted to ask them about incorporating this into a routine if I am using like a, an active ingredient, like a vitamin C serum or, 
or something like that. I assume I would put on the vitamin C first and then put this on, but every time I've used this, I've used it just on its own. It's like this kind of watered down milky consistency and you can absolutely use this just like a moisturizer. The way they recommend using this is putting it out into your hand and patting it into the skin in a couple of layers, two or three layers. So just give it like 30 seconds, 20 seconds in between layers. Every time I've used this, I am blown away the next morning how soft and supple my skin feels, how hydrated it feels, but this product is so light. So if over the years my moisturizer recommendations have been too heavy for you and you're like, no, 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 I still cannot get down with moisturizers, give this a go. It's crazy and I've also used this a bunch and you only end up using a tiny bit of product because it's so watery and you're, I pat it onto my face just with my hands. You could also probably put this in a spray bottle and spray it onto your face as well but it's really really gorgeous. It also says it's good for normal to dry skin if you do happen to have a drier skin type but I was really blown away by how effective this product was. I wasn't sure because I've used moisturizing toners before but this feels totally different. It really feels like some Something super super innovative and I was so impressed with what it did to my skin. A moisturizer that has some SPF in there is from CeraVe. This is their ultra light moisturizing lotion for normal to oily skin. It says it has a matte finish and there's an SPF 30 in there. So I really really love that this has an SPF. There's a few moisturizers that I've mentioned that have SPFs in them. A lot of them are more 15 to 20 so always great to see something a little bit higher but the thing is to get a moisturizer that is not too heavy on the skin, that doesn't turn me purple because I have deeper skin, that doesn't make me greasy and has SPF is very, very tricky to come by. So really happy when I came across this. It is gonna be a little bit thicker than the other products that I mentioned, but that being said, I don't find it to be too heavy or SPF-ish in terms of texture or scent. It does not turn me purple, which is exciting, so I can wear it on its own or under makeup as well. And yeah, really glad that it has SPF 30 in there. It is CeraVe so you're going to get the ceramides in there which are good for um, helping to moisturize and protect your skin's barrier and of course it's got the hyaluronic acid in there and don't be scared of the word hyaluronic acid it's not going to burn it's not like I don't even consider hyaluronic acid an acid you know what I mean like in a very <laughs> low level I'm not a skincare expert kind of way like of course it is that's why it has the word acid in there I'm assuming but it's I would never compare it to like my glycolic my salicylic or any of those kinds of acids because those are ones you need to be a little bit more careful around um, but a hyaluronic acid is something that everybody can and should be using. This next moisturizer was a one that a lot of you recommended to me that I really really love. It is from Ulla Henriksen and it is the Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. The scent on this first of all, oh my god. Mmm, it's got this light fresh orangey scent and it's a really true gel cream. It is a really beautiful light light texture. It's got vitamin C in there so if you have dark spots, dullness, uh, this says it's also good for uneven texture. It's a really beautiful light cream. Incorporating vitamin C into your routine is something that you should absolutely consider in the daytime I believe is when vitamin C is the most effective and a really easy way to get it onto your face is by using uh, a cream. They've also got a matching serum from this line. The eye cream from this line is very very popular as well and they always do good minis as well around the holidays which is now is basically holiday time according to uh, Sephora and all the big retailers. It's got three different sources of vitamin C and rows of winter extract. They also have the green line which I've mentioned that moisturizer before which is specifically one for mattifying the skin and for oilier skin but this one is definitely great for oily skin as well. I've got a drugstore vitamin C lotion here for you. This is the Pixie vitamin C lotion brightening moisturizer. So this one is really nice. It's not oil free, so it's not like probably the lightest moisturizer that I'm going to mention today, but by no means do I feel like it has like, it's a, it's a lotion. It's not a cream. So I guess that's why they named it a lotion. But this again, similar to the Ulla Henriksen that I mentioned, dark spots, dullness, if you're looking to brighten the skin, even the skin, vitamin C is something to absolutely incorporate. Similar to the Ulla Henriksen as well, they have a vitamin C serum too. The whole vitamin C line is really nice. I've been loving the micellar water from this line especially, but I do really like this. It says vitamin C has potent antioxidant powder power uh, for both healthy collagen production and is no 
known to boost skin's luminosity, great for all skin types, and I really like this because they had the rose ceramide cream, and I loved the rose oil and the rose toner, but I felt the ceramide cream was a little bit heavy, especially for day and especially if you have an oilier skin type. So this vitamin C one is definitely a great option for oily skin, and I also have their gel moisturizer. I think it's called the Phenomenal Gel or something like that. I've yet to try it, but I feel like knowing that it says gel on the outside leads me to believe it's probably going to be a good option so i'll have to test that one out and get back to you another great spf that i wanted to mention this is the one i've been wearing basically all summer it is the paula's choice youth extending daily hydrating fluid this has spf 50. boom so good and again similar to the cerave that i mentioned not heavy, not too SPF, doesn't turn me purple, and SPF 50, such a huge win. Uh, this says it has antioxidants, soothing plant extracts, water light fluid minimizes the appearance of pores, and of course it helps to prevent UV damage and signs of aging. Paula's Choice makes really, really gorgeous moisturizers. I have actually, what I was using until they sent me this one, uh, I was testing out the Omega Complex Moisturizer. This is another really nice moisturizer if you're looking for something that doesn't have SPF in it from Paula's Choice. They've also got a specific line for oily skin as well but after they sent me this one I just continued to use this one because it has the SPF 50 in there which I thought was just so good for normal oily and combination skin and then I think they also do have a version for more dry skin as well if you're someone that is oily and sensitive this could be a really good option for you it's the origins mega mushroom relief and resilience hydra burst gel lotion so this whole line is infused with mushrooms and mushrooms that are really soothing on this skin it feels really beautiful similar to the dr jart in the sense that this one is a little bit more gelish but when you put it on your skin it has this really cooling effect and if you have acne or any kind of just soreness and redness on the skin this is a really really good option for you because a lot of the time things that are marketed towards people with more sensitive skin can tend to be more like sensitive dry and not sensitive oily in my in my experience things that help with redness and kind of the calming and relief tend to be a little bit thicker so this is a really really good gel option i also love the scent it has that kind of like health food store scent but in a good way and they also actually just released a charcoal moisturizer I think as a part of that charcoal line that they have like I love the masks that they do so I haven't tried that one yet um, but I will again like uh, there's I'm, I'm spoiled for choice for a long time there was very few moisturizers that I could use and now every time I go to do one of these videos I've got plenty to chat about so I will have to try that one lastly I have a moisturizer from elf and they've released so much skincare and I do have that new purple one but I'm still not sure how I feel about it this one I do know how I feel and I like it it is the hello hydration face cream it's got hyaluronic acid peptide complex it has niacinamide which is amazing for oily skin and for large pores as well as acne it also has squalane in there another ingredient I love so it's really exciting to see this one has I would say closer to a lotiony cream texture over a cream gel or a gel texture but that being said when you rub it into your skin it, it feels really thick when you first touch it like when I first got it I was like oh no this is going to be far too heavy for my skin but it definitely definitely when you put it on your face and don't put on too much of anything really unless it's an SPF make sure you're getting enough on your face um, but if it's something like this you don't need to overload your face especially if it's the daytime and I really really like this I think it's full of some great ingredients it's absolutely affordable I also really love um, the packaging on this one and they recommend using it day or night if you do just want to buy <clears throat> excuse me one moisturizer you can pick up something a little bit lighter and then get a serum or an oil if you want to bump up the hydration if you feel like you're not getting enough at night or if you just want to add in a little bit more at night like I'll use an oil every night but I would never use an oil during the day and that way you're getting kind of double duty out of your face creams as well so that is everything that I love as of lately when it comes to moisturizers for oily skin there's so many I could talk about it forever but if you are in the market for one I hope you found this helpful and if you're looking for more oily skin content I will have tons of links down below. But thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!